Ever wondered about the differences between online and local banks? In the age of digitalization, this question has become more relevant than ever. As we delve into this topic, we'll be comparing apples to apples, or in this case, banks to banks. We'll explore the pros and cons of both online and local banks. You might be wondering, are online banks really better than regular banks, or how risky is online banking? These are all valid questions and we're here to shed some light on these matters. We'll also be sprinkling in some fun facts and sharing a few jokes along the way because who said finance has to be boring, right? We promise by the end of this video you'll have a clearer picture of which banking option suits you best. So, buckle up and get ready for a fun, informative ride. Keep watching to find out the answers to these questions and more. First off, let's dive into the benefits of online banking. Imagine this scenario. It's midnight and you suddenly remember that you need to pay a bill. With traditional banks, you'd have to wait until morning to sort it out. But with online banking, you can do it right away. That's the convenience of online banking. It's like having a bank in your pocket, accessible anytime, anywhere, as long as you have an internet connection. This 24-7 availability is not just limited to bill payments. You can check your account balance, transfer funds, or even apply for a loan at any time of the day or night. No more waiting in lines or rushing to the bank during your lunch break. It's banking at your convenience. Now, let's talk about rates and fees. Traditional banks have overhead costs like rent and utilities for their physical locations, and these costs often trickle down to the customers in the form of fees. Online banks on the other hand have significantly lower operational costs and are able to pass on these savings to customers. This often means better interest rates on savings and lower fees. Speaking of fees, have you ever been charged a monthly maintenance fee or a minimum balance fee by your bank? These are much less common with online banks. Many online banks offer fee-free banking, which can save you a tidy sum over time. Here's a fun fact for you. According to a Federal Reserve survey, over three-quarters of adults in the United States used online banking in 2021, and this number has been on a steady rise. It seems more and more people are catching on to the benefits of online banking, so Online banks seem to offer a lot of benefits, but what about their downsides? While online banks have their perks, they also come with some drawbacks. Let's dive into the flip side of the shiny digital banking coin. First up, there's the potential for risk, especially cyber attacks. Online banks are a prime target for hackers. Although these banks invest heavily in security, cyber threats are always evolving. Customers can find themselves in a sticky situation if their financial information falls into the wrong hands. Secondly, the lack of personal interaction with bank staff can be a downside. Sure, online banks often offer customer service through chat or over the phone, but sometimes a face-to-face -face conversation is what you need to sort out complex financial issues. We all know that feeling when you're stuck in a loop of automated responses, right? Then, there's the issue of large cash transactions. If you need to deposit a large amount of cash or if you're in a business that deals with physical currency, an online bank might not be your best bet. There's no easy way to deposit a stack of cash into an online bank. And let's not forget one of the biggest drawbacks of online banking, the lack of candy at the teller's desk. Seriously, who doesn't miss those free lollipops? Now that we've looked at online banks, let's turn our attention to local banks. Local banks, or traditional banks as some call them, also have their own set of advantages. Let's talk about the first one personal service. When you walk into a local bank, you're more than just an account number, you're a valued customer, someone with a face and a name. These banks pride themselves on their customer service, building relationships that often span generations. Now let's move on to community involvement. Local banks are typically deeply entrenched in the community, sponsoring local events, supporting local businesses, and reinvesting in the community. They're not just financial institutions, they're your neighbors, your friends, your partners in growth. Next, we have the availability of in-person services. Sometimes there's just no substitute for sitting down with a bank representative and discussing your financial needs. Whether it's complex transactions, notarizing documents, or safe deposit boxes, local banks offer a variety of in-person services that online banks simply cannot. And now for a fun fact. Did you know that the oldest operating bank in the world is Banca Monte dei Paschi di Siena in Italy, which has been in business since 1472? That's over 550 years of banking history, but just like online banks, local banks have their share of disadvantages too. Despite their strengths, local banks aren't without their flaws. For starters, the most obvious drawback is their limited operating hours. Unlike online banks, which are accessible 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 
local banks operate on a traditional business schedule. If you're a night owl or an early bird, you might just be out of luck. Next, let's talk about fees. Local banks are often notorious for their higher fees. From monthly maintenance charges to ATM fees, these costs can quickly add up. It's like they're playing a game of how much can we charge before customers revolt. And lastly, while some local banks have embraced technology, many still lag behind in offering user-friendly digital interfaces. The struggle of navigating through clunky online banking systems can be as frustrating as those dreaded bank lines. Speaking of which, why does the slowest teller always pick me? Is there a secret society of bank tellers that I'm not aware of? Now that we've examined both sides, let's summarize what we've learned. So, online banks or local banks, which one is better? As we've seen, both have their perks. Online banks shine in their convenience, round-the-clock accessibility, and often lower fees, but they might fall short if you value face-to-face -face interactions or require more complex banking services. Meanwhile, local banks provide a personal touch, immediate access to cash, and a sense of community. But they may not be as convenient or cost-effective as their digital counterparts. The choice between online and local banks isn't a one-size-fits-all decision, it really boils down to what you value most in a banking experience. So, let's keep this conversation going. Have you had a standout experience with an online or local bank, or perhaps a situation where one fell short? We're keen to hear your stories. After all, sharing perspectives helps us all make more informed decisions. Please remember to like, subscribe and share your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching.